I was wondering why music was coming from my printer. Apparently the paper was jamming. <laughs> right, so don't forget, comment your jokes down below and the best one will get pinned. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Recently, we've been doing a lot of videos around Android TV and a lot of people have been asking how to add apps to the homepage. And now, not just like you see behind me, they'll install an app and you can't find it to add it to the home screen or it doesn't even show in your apps. So just a quick video today, but hopefully it will help somebody out. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so the Android TV device I'm using at the moment is the MeCool KM2, but this is going to work the same for any Android TV device. Now, at the moment, as we know, these are your favourite apps at the top. If I click on the plus icon at the end, these are the apps left that I can add to my favourites on the home page. Click on that and it gets added. Click and hold and obviously I can remove it. So this is actually meant to be showing me all the apps that are installed on my device, but I've got more apps installed, but I can't see them. So in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can add something to the home screen to access apps that you can't add to the favourites. If I go up to the top and go across to the apps, this is also all the apps I'm able to access. But, like I said once again, not all the apps are showing. I've installed three different apps to test this today. I've installed all four, Google Chrome and also the Set Orientation APK. And as you can see, none of them are showing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to Settings, and then I'm going to go into my apps. And then click on where it says See All Apps. Let me move my out of way because you're not going to be able to see, are you? <laughs> Slide in! As you can see at the top, all four is installed. We can't see it on the home screen. We can't add it to the favorites. We should see Google Chrome and then scroll down to S and we should have set orientation. Now these are the three apps we can't see, but sometimes you can't even see them inside this section. Sometimes you've got to go into show system apps and then you will find them inside here. But we want to be able to access them on the home screen. We can't be bothered to go to settings and apps every time. And I'll also tell you in a moment why this might be happening. So all we want to do is open the Google Play Store. So, Play Store. It understands me. Oh, Google Play Store. hello. <laughs> and then we're going to install something called Sideload Launcher. Sideload Launcher. So there we go. Just simply, that's the icon behind my head there. If you can see it, I do apologize. And once it's installed, I'm going to click on Home. Now that we should be able to add to the home screen. Click on the plus icon, scroll down. You can see it is, it's there. Look, told you, side load launch. I'm going to click on that, long hold the enter button, and I'm going to move it to the front. And now what you're going to see is when I open side load launcher, I'm going to click OK. You can check for an update. I can't be bothered at the moment. And now we're actually seeing all four. Google Chrome at the top, and also, I'm guessing that's got to be, it is, I can see it, Set Orientation, the three that were missing originally. Now, granted, it's a bit of a pain in the ass how you can't add them direct to the home screen. You've got to use this side load launcher, but it's also a lot better than having to go into the settings. So why is it this is happening? And honestly, I think it's when you're installing apps that are designed for mobile devices. You can see, if I scroll across, I've got BBC iPlayer installed, but I had to sideload that from my website, letscrackon.org. And I obviously had to do the same for file links and other third-party apps I've got installed, and all of those add to the home screen just fine. The only ones I've found that don't add to the home screen are ones that are designed for mobile. And usually the ones that are designed for mobile are the ones where you're going to need to use a mouse toggle. If I open it up, Guaranteed it's not going to navigate properly. Hey, it does navigate all right, that, doesn't it? But you can see it's designed for a mobile. So if you're having that issue where apps are missing from your home screen or your favourites, simply install that side load launcher direct from the Google Play Store, open that up and all your apps should be showing. If not, go into settings, check your apps and also check your system apps as well, just to make sure it is there. Right, I'm going, I'm sweating my tits off. I don't know how high she's got the heating on, but I'm melting. Now, I know this video is not going to appeal to everybody, but if I can make some videos that aren't very popular but do help people, 
than they are worth making. Right, so I look forward to seeing you in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Watching you. And I'll see you soon. ta -da! Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Recently, we've been doing... Been doing... Been doing... Yeah. <laughs> and now we actually see... And now we're actually seeing... Oh. I, oh, I don't know. I, oh. <laughs> now, if I scroll across, I don't have to boom myself again, do I? You can see I've got B... Uh, B? I've got B. <laughs> You can see if I scroll across. Uh, across. Now, I know this veal. Veal? Veal? <laughs> it's a video. Right, so let me know in the comment section down below. Have you ever had. Oh, yeah, yeah, but. Right, so let me know in the comment section down below. Have you ever had this. Uh, oh, uh, ooh. Right, so let me know in the comment section down below. Have you ever had this. I can't say that. <laughs>